welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda and I love saying things to you because you are pretty awesome. I think you are. And if you're having doubts, then just ask me again and I'll say you're pretty awesome. Look how long my hair is getting. It's getting long. I'm going to get my hair done. I'm not waiting till July 1st to get my hair done. It's going to be June 10th. So, bam, bam, bam. Very exciting. Today I'm going to use some things that I have not used before. What? Yes. New to me things I will be using. Uh, I've only used this like once or twice. And this is the Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist in Starberry Scent. And you can, I don't know why I'm shaking it, it's an aerosol. But you can use it for setting. And, uh setting spray. So we're going to use that later because that's not a primer. Duh. <laughs> Woo. Ugh. This is my primer I'm going to use and it is the Juno & Co. Um, Moonshine Miracle Cream. It still has a little lid thing on it. going to keep that blood thing out since I just shoved it all over my face but it feels very light and it's moisturizing and today we're going to be featuring the emerald palette from profusion Woo! but we're going to be using stuff that's new to me it might not be new to you but it's new to me and that's what it's all about. Me, 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 me. Because it's Rhonda said. It's not you said. <laughs> I'm just being goofy. But this weighs about a thousand pounds. And I don't want to put it in my bag of tricks. Because it will make my bag of tricks is already pretty heavy. Um, so the next step is concealer. And I'm trying to find my dose of colors. Here we go. The dose of colors concealer and it says meet your hue and this is in the color 03 fair I may have used it maybe once but I don't think I've used it on camera I've used it actually twice and I'm still figuring out if I like this or not then I'm going to wet my sponge this is my real technique sponge. Actually, let me use a different sponge. Sorry to retire that one anyway. I just did a, I got a small haul, which I'm not going to film because it was mostly this and some bath bombs. But the Paw Paw Wonder Blender from Shop Miss A. And this is a resealable pack. And it's always weird the, the first time you use uh, a, a sponge because you kind of get a Get it all set up with some water and stuff. But it's so soft. It's so soft. And these, uh, you get six of these for about eight bucks. Which is fantastic because, you know, regular beauty blender, beauty blenders cost like 20 bucks. And I'm getting this full, I poured water over it over my garbage can. And it is getting bumpy and lumpy and full of water. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to squeeze all the water out. All right. Oh, it's getting all absorbed. So I'm going to try some foundation and Teresa is dead said she loves the NYX Born to Glow foundation and I got it in light porcelain. I have not tried this yet. I did like a color swatch on my hand. It's very liquidy. I don't know how much to put on here but that seems like a good thing to start with.
and this blender, this blender feels amazing on my face, but I'm gonna need more foundation. But this foundation is uh, 10 bucks or less on Ulta. And you know, I'm all about trying things from all kinds of price ranges. As you know, I love me some Amazon palettes. I love high end, I love low end. I just love makeup. I'm gonna try to do this face pretty quickly, but with the new sponge, it's hard because it soaks up a lot of stuff. A little more foundation. But yeah, that Dose of Colors uh, concealer is like 26 bucks, I think. So, but I, I saw on a channel that for women with mature skin, the woman that I watch, I can't remember because I watch so much stuff. Uh, but anyway, she said that the Dose of Colors concealer was really good. And then also, Teresa is dead. Like sea sponges as well as like a lot of other people. All right. Got that in there. I am going to just use my regular Hydra Mist powder. To set my face. I'll set my eyes first. And then this is a newer brush that I've got. I got from the Mini Mystery from Bijou Beauty. And I've got one more box of that coming. It just is running so far behind that I decided to, to cancel it because it's 10 bucks plus $5.95 in shipping and it just takes forever to get here, so. You know, not that there was anything wrong with it. I actually like the mini box that I got. They just take forever. And for 15 bucks, I started getting the lure again. So, there. Now, for the bronzer and stuff. I got this blush in Ipsy recently. And I tried to use it as blush, but it worked more like a bronzer. And it is the color of a light bronzer. So, I'm going to use it as a bronzer. And it's nice because I put it on after I put my bronzer on it. You couldn't tell the difference between the blush and the bronzer. So I just, like I said, it's no bronzer for me, which is cool, which is fine and dandy with old Rondi. Um, let's see. I've got some new blush. Let me bring all my blushes and highlighters over here. Just trying to find it. I got this blush from an Ipsy bag. And it was the uh, Born to Glow or something like that. And it came with this blush and some highlighter and a dose of colors thing. So I'm going to use this as blush today. Which is pretty. And this is a uh, Mael, Mal, Male in Cherry Blush. Oh, Cheeky Blush. And it is a bunch of cool colors swirled together. And then I had a highlighter that I've not used. It was just, oh, here it is. I got this in a Ipsy, I think. It's Shania B. Oh, 
That's just, it's soft. But it's showing up. It's pretty. Very, it's, it's nice. Look at that. It's really soft and pretty. Awesome. I'm gonna get a tissue and soften up this blush a little. A little intense. The old tissue trick. I always have tissues on hand. Faux shizzle. My nizzle. Ooh, elbow itch. So now we are going to try this Profusion Emerald Palette. I'm going to swatch this palette real quick. To get an idea of what I want to do. And this emerald palette is very, very pretty. Let me get it up close so you can see that first one, which is a shimmer. A little chunky on that second one, but that's okay. And these colors are beauteous. I really love this color it's kind of a greeny blue so pretty what am i gonna do i'll figure it out i always do so anyway i forgot to put this up but that's all right i forgot to set my face I usually do that after my powder. Hmm, strawberry smells. Starberry, I'm sorry. Jeffree Star says it's starberry. <laughs> I love Jeffree Star, but he's a little redonkulous sometimes. I can't wait to get my damn cremated palette whenever that's happening. That'll be nice to have. So I'm going to start in the crease with burn. Oh, look at that. It's so pigmented. Has a great mat. Super pretty. Super duper pretty. And that gives us a hell of a start. I'm going to go onto the lid with this color here, which is radioactive. Oh, it's really soft. Oh, look at that. It's a greeny gold. It's super soft. Like when I swatched it, like I got a dug in and there's like a big old dig in it. I might just keep this a real simple look. Sometimes I like to get a little complex, but with all these beautiful colors, there's so many looks you can do. I'm gonna go under the brow with Gilded here. 
which is another shimmer. which is pretty and soft. You can see that shimmer on it. Super cool. We love this palette so far. And also, Teresa is dead. Maybe this is a Teresa's Dead Loves Things palette. I mean, come So far, everything I've been using on Teresa is Dead Loves for the most part. Oh, I didn't get it. Now I got that, that, don't get uptight, don't get distracted, turn me on tonight, I'm radioactive. Does anybody remember that song besides old Rondi? That's a good question. I'm going to, it's so pretty. I'm going to go into this uh, color, Juniper. And darken this up a little. It's such a beautiful palette. This is five bucks. Did I forget to say that this is a five dollar palette? It's stunning. I mean, this is such a good palette. I mean, most of the things from Profusion are good, but this is great. Let me get my blending brush, my angled blending brush from somewhere. There you are. There you are. Let's just blend this out and see what we can do. So pretty, very spring. I think I'm going to dedicate this video to Teresa is dead. And I've got green eyes, so this makes my green eyes pop even more. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to stop there. There's so much more that I could do, but I'm not going to. Um, Teresa is dead does not. I don't know how she feels about the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner, but I know she doesn't really use eyeliner because she's got small eyes. I wish I hadn't waited so long to get this damn palette. There's some fallout under my eye with that shimmery glitter color, but I don't mind that. That don't bother me none. Do my brows with the NYX Fluff and Fill. I don't know how Teresa feels about this. But it is my go-to brow pencil and it is a pomade pencil. I think I'm gonna call this video Teresa is dead said. Oh super pretty. Super pretty mascara. Don't want to do that mascara debacle. 
And this is the Lancome, Lancome Hypnose Mascara. Oh, it's gorgeous. I wish I had a green lippy. But it would have to be a special color green. Just to do a monochromatic look. So stunning. Flip my hair. The purple and green are working. Work. Turn to the left. Work. Shantae, you stay. And I'm going to use, Teresa Z doesn't know about this, but this is fantastic. This is number 65, Seductress. It is the Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Ink Lip Pen. Uh, lip thing. Oh, so pretty. But more things in this video are suggested by Teresa is dead than anybody else. So I dedicate this to you, Teresa. I love you. I think you're fantastic. And uh, you've got the most bombest stories ever. So like this video, comment, subscribe. Uh, help me with my watch hours. I am less than 160 hours away from monetization so i would appreciate it i hope you have a fantastic day or day of your choice and we'll see you real soon